Get ready for an in-depth exploration into the captivating world of Jordan Peterson on today's video. From his roots in Alberta, Canada, to teaching at Harvard and challenging the status quo, Peterson's journey is as fascinating as it gets. We'll unravel the layers of his compelling biography, showcasing his multidisciplinary approach to psychology and his rise to international acclaim. But that's not all. We'll also dive into some mind-blowing facts about this brilliant mind. Did you know he faced a health crisis that led to a coma? And of course, we can't forget about the wisdom he shares. Get ready for a dose of motivation as we explore the top quotes that have resonated with millions worldwide. From personal responsibility to the pursuit of meaning, Peterson's insights are a game changer. So, if you're into psychology, personal development, and a dash of controversy, you're in for a treat. Hit that subscribe button, because today, we're uncovering the man, the myth, the motivational genius, Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson was born on June 12, 1962 in Fairview, Alberta, Canada. Growing up in this small town, he developed a passion for literature and psychology. He pursued his higher education at the University of Alberta, earning a BA in political science and later a PhD in clinical psychology in 1991. Peterson's academic journey took him to Harvard University, where he served as an assistant professor. Eventually, he returned to Canada to teach at the University of Toronto. His research focused on the psychology of religious and ideological belief, as well as personality assessment and improvement. In 2016, Peterson gained national attention for his opposition to Canada's Bill C-16, a piece of legislation addressing discrimination based on gender identity. He argued that the bill compelled speech by enforcing the use of preferred gender pronouns, sparking a heated debate on free speech and political correctness. The controversy surrounding Bill C-16 brought Peterson into the public eye, turning him into a controversial figure. Despite the polarized opinions, his popularity surged, leading to increased visibility in mainstream media. In 2018, Peterson published 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos, a self-help book that blends practical advice with insights from psychology, mythology, and religion. The book became a bestseller, reaching a wide audience and further establishing Peterson as a prominent public intellectual. Peterson faced significant health challenges in 2020, experiencing a severe reaction to medication that resulted in a coma. Despite the ordeal, he made a remarkable recovery and returned to public life. Jordan Peterson's work continues to shape discussions on topics like free speech, political correctness, and the search for meaning. His commitment to intellectual exploration and his ability to engage with diverse audiences have left an indelible mark on contemporary discourse. Jordan Peterson's biography reflects a life dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge, academic excellence, and the courage to engage in challenging conversations on societal issues. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. Set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. You're going to pay a price for every bloody thing you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose to not pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. That's it. Don't underestimate the power of vision and direction. These are irresistible forces, ably to transform what might appear to be unconquerable obstacles into traversable pathways and expanding opportunities. If you fulfill your obligations every day, you don't need to worry about the future. You're not after happiness, you're after meaningfulness. To stand up straight with your shoulders back is to accept the terrible responsibility of life with eyes wide open. What you aim at determines what you see. Make friends with people who want the best for you. There's a level of intensity I don't think people understand until they've met me. The purpose of life is finding the largest burden that you can bear and bearing it. A 
adopt the mode of being that will provide the most meaningful and productive reality. You should take care of, help, and be good to yourself the same way you would take care of help and be good to someone you loved and valued. Do not hide unwanted things in the fog. Do not let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. People don't have ideas. Ideas have people. Articulate your resentment. That means, tell the person you're resentful at that you're resentful and why. You're not functioning as well as you could if you would have been courageous enough to do what you knew to be right. You must determine where you are going in your life because you cannot get there unless you move in that direction. The more responsibility you take on, the more meaning your life has. You're going to have to decide what sort of person you want to be in the face of that tyranny. What you aim at determines what you see. It's a lot harder to tyrannize a population that won't swallow the poison you're peddling. The person who has a why can tolerate anyhow. You need a routine, you need to get up, you need to make your bed, you need to put your clothes on, you need to groom yourself, you need to groom your room, you need to establish a routine. Order is not enough. You can't just be stable and secure and unchanging because there are still vital and important new things to be learned. Sometimes you have to make a decision. Sometimes you have to decide. The purpose of life is finding the largest burden that you can bear and bearing it. Don't underestimate the power of vision and direction. These are irresistible forces, able to transform what might appear to be unconquerable obstacles into traversable pathways and expanding opportunities. The purpose of life is to find a mode of being that's so meaningful that the fact that life is suffering is no longer relevant. To render the environment of the future as positive as possible, while taking immediate responsibility for war, crime, and general catastrophe, was now the most moral of human occupations. The successful among us delay gratification. The successful among us bargain with the future. Don't be a slave to your desires. Learn to tolerate the terrible truth. You have to be the sort of person who can move from room to room in a place full of knives without losing your composure. You're going to pay a price for every bloody thing you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose to not pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. That's it. What you leave behind is how you're remembered. When you dare aspire upward, you reveal the inadequacy of the present and the promise of the future. Responsibility is what gives life meaning. There is no faith and no courage and no sacrifice in doing what is expedient. If you're not willing to be a fool, you can't become a master. You're going to pay a price for every bloody thing you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose to not pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. That's it. You have to be careful who you associate with because you're too damn much like them. Don't underestimate the power of vision and direction. These are irresistible forces, able to transform what might appear to be unconquerable obstacles into traversable pathways and expanding opportunities. People think they think, but it's not true. It's mostly self-criticism that passes for thinking. You're not after happiness, you're after meaning. It's necessary to stand up properly on your own two feet and deal with the difficulty of life voluntarily. You have to treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Jordan Peterson earned a BA in political science from the University of Alberta, showcasing his early interest in political dynamics.
Later, he pursued a PhD in clinical psychology, revealing a deep commitment to understanding the human mind from both political and psychological perspectives. Peterson's tenure as an assistant professor at Harvard University underscored his academic prowess and his contributions to one of the world's foremost educational institutions. Teaching at Harvard added a layer of prestige to his academic career and provided a platform for sharing his insights with a global audience. 12 Rules for Life – An Antidote to Chaos not only became an international bestseller, but also received critical acclaim for its synthesis of practical advice, psychology, mythology, and religion. The book's success catapulted Peterson into the mainstream, making his ideas accessible to a broad readership. Peterson's presence on YouTube has transcended traditional academic boundaries, with his lectures and discussions amassing millions of views. This online platform has allowed him to engage with a diverse audience, reaching people who may not typically be exposed to academic discourse. Peterson's opposition to Bill C-16, based on concerns about compelled speech, made him a lightning rod for controversy. While some lauded him as a defender of free speech, others criticized him, sparking heated debates on issues of gender identity and expression. In 2020, Peterson faced a life-threatening health crisis due to a reaction to medication, leading to a medically-induced coma. His subsequent recovery highlighted not only his personal resilience, but also served as a testament to the strength of his character. Peterson's academic research delves into the intricate psychology of religious and ideological belief systems. His work contributes valuable insights into understanding how individuals form and maintain their beliefs adding depth to the field of psychology. Peterson's ideas have permeated contemporary cultural discourse, challenging prevailing notions of political correctness and identity politics. His influence extends beyond academia, shaping public conversations about the societal challenges of the modern era.